Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a general reading for the sign of Pisces. I'm gonna get some energy first. I actually mixed two of the decks together. Oh God, that's a lot of cards. So I'm gonna put them back. Okay. I don't know how to love you properly. I don't know what you want me to say. Good God. Okay, I'm gonna just take all of them and that's gonna be the end. To me, you are perfect. I never knew love until I met you. I worship you basically um i am better because of you without me oh god that changed real quick <laughs> without me you're nothing and unblock me <laughs> so i don't know what's happening here um <laughs> yo that's weird Okay, expectation. Someone was expecting something. That went from real, like, I was getting ready to say, oh, that's like really, really nice love. But then all of a sudden that went real drastic. You're nothing without me and unblock me. What type of shit is going on? Okay, so. We got expectations. We got bad health. We got concerns. So somebody could be potentially be sick in occupation. So I'm wondering if that's somebody sick of their occupation. Or if that's somebody sick just because they sick. Someone's concerned. in despair that could be you're nothing without me so they want to love bomb you and then cuss you the fuck out <laughs> that's what i'm getting okay so we got the lovers we got family room we have great fortune we have imprisonment and main female okay so someone's trying to or someone's concerned about a mean female there's a great fortune coming here or maybe great fortune coming with somebody's occupation that's leaving someone else in despair someone feels like they're in prison but there's lovers on the card i mean on the board so someone could could be concerned about the lovers and something just happened to my throat, so throat chakra. Somebody wants you to shut the hell up. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. That's happy everything, happy life. So that could also go along with this great fortune out here. Maybe someone's in despair behind this Ten of Cups. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> like I said, throat chakra. I keep getting it, feeling like my throat is itching. Um, more despair, been through a battle, somebody's worried about, look how he's looking at this. Oh. It looks like he's looking at them. So somebody is feeling like that's somebody being left out and looks like left out in the cold, really, because he's looking at them. If you can see how this looks. 
It looks weird. But anyway, somebody's over here working on their money. Let me see if I can help y'all. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see that really good. But it looks like he's looking at them. Like he's mad. Big mad. So somebody could be mad. Somebody could potentially be mad that you're getting your Ten of Cups. And someone's over here working on their money. But this nigga look mad. <laughs> That's funny. I'm cracking up just by the way that looks. Okay, so we have the chariot. So that could be someone coming in fast. Why are my hands so looking so ashy or something? Okay, don't judge me. Mind your business. Okay, uh, something coming in fast. Someone fighting. Nostalgia, childhood, thinking of what was, what could have been. Somebody could be bringing you flowers, okay? king of cups somebody emotional that could be the person that was love bombing you and then try to cuss you the fuck out i love you you i adore you but unblock me and you're nothing without me yes i'm fine how are you what's wrong huh my tarot yes Oh. Yeah, I just felt like I just might as well get out of the truck, get some air since I had to sit here for the night, so. Well, I couldn't go get it. It was, oh, you said your part? No, 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 I'm talking about, I think he went and got the belt, but he should Oh, no, I think they got to do something else, too. Something happened to, um, my lights are, yeah, my hazard lights are flashing. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he has to fix that, and um, he said, I got to wait till the morning. You got to wait here till two? Well, I, I'm supposed to be starting. I, I drive from Martin. Oh, uh-huh. So we're supposed to be starting from, um, like, San Rock, Ohio. Mm-hmm. And I got to take a seven-hour class tomorrow, like, online. Uh-huh. And then after that, um, we're running, like, two-day spring or something like that. We're paying good money. Right. So you stay here tonight? Yeah, I'm staying here. Yeah. Okay. So you'll keep an eye on me. Make sure I don't nobody try to yeah, come out yeah. here again. I've, I've been here before. I've been here like the whole weekend. I've been here like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I know I've been here like, like two days. I don't know why they're really pulling up here. Like okay. Because I'll be, I'm waiting for the stars to come out. I like stargaze. And so, <laughs> yeah, stargaze. Yeah. I, that's why I laid everything down because I'm going to lay on the trailer and <laughs> talk to God tonight about some stuff make a couple send a couple manifestations up into the sky good god that's a lot yeah but it's only like 30 mile radius 50 mile radius so you pick up and you go right here and drop and you go pick up and drop you talking about the truck gonna be there i'm like shit I'm talking about home. I'm like, yeah. what tomorrow no when we start oh Right. As long as they paying shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy. You can't sit at home. Mhm. And then you just gonna drive. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you.
Right. 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 And y'all gonna be in Ohio? Ohio between Ohio and PA. Right. Okay. Is it walking distance? You said not walking distance though? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. See what that red thing is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's right not bad. Right okay. Want something to drink? I go get you something to drink. If you're going, I, I will, but if you're not going, don't worry about it. No, it'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's right. All right. Okay, guys. So we have Six of Swords moving away to calmer waters. Um, the magician was underneath that using all your tools um having the skills could be magic could be somebody just basically relentless and continuing on to you know continuing to keep doing some shit um somebody just got judgment called on them maybe the magician got judgment called on them um then we have the two of cups an offer coming in knight of cups two of cups a relationship um, partnership, Knight of Cups, or somebody sneaking away, Seven of Swords, um, the people, I don't know why, but I'm looking at this, judgment, whatever this is, maybe this person getting judgment called on them also. Some, it could be a couple people getting judgment called on them, actually. <clears throat> okay, Will of Fortune. You know, Will of Fortune is based off karma. If you did good, you get good. If you didn't do good, you don't get good. And I don't know why it looks like a thousand mosquitoes are out here. So, could be an energy vampire, a real vampire uh uh bloodthirsty vampire the moon so there's illusions could be being caused by this magician over here okay so let me see what we got here somebody wants to be in love somebody this is two people out under the moon could be um moon bathing since they're out here butt naked i'm getting the energy like someone coming in someone coming close to you someone sneaking off sneaking away could be somebody trying to steal stealing away or just stealing period Four of Cups, not liking what you're being offered. The Divine trying to give you something. You don't like what's being offered. Why are these cups flying out? Maybe it could be this King of Pentacles, not liking what they're being offered. Not liking the situation that's at hand. He looks very bored. The sun's out here, happiest part of the deck. Growth, the fool, new journey, new beginnings someone manifesting a new beginning <laughs> okay so this is funny i'm sorry um 
someone manifesting a new beginning. They want to start the will over. So let me love bomb you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're nothing without me and unblock me. So given very narcissistic vibes, I don't like using that word, but it is what it is. Let's see what, let's see what they got to say. We'll, we'll be, oh God. Communication. So I might not take all these. Let me see how many is it? Yeah, too many. Let's see what they said. Watch your mouth. I don't know how to tell you how I truly feel. I wasn't taught how to love. Nothing. Homie lover friend. I want to be your homie lover friend and new love. So, seems like two energies on the board. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put these back. Two energies on the board. New love coming in and someone, an energy that you've already been dealing with that is trying to get back in. Trying to manifest a new beginning. Um, maybe the new love coming in, you're not liking what's there. Um, I've been telling y'all my stories. So, I got another one. Okay, more cards wanting to fall out. Let's see. I can't stop thinking about you. I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. So is this the new love or the old something? I don't know, because somebody wants to love bomb you was what it looks like. But then this person, somebody has old love, new love, karmic will start. Somebody wants to start the will over, but you're in a new cycle already. So divine is sending in a new situation. And maybe you are the person that's saying you don't like what's being offered. Um, because like I said, I was going to tell y'all a story. And my story goes, um, and hopefully he don't mind me telling this story, but it's fine. Um, tall, dark, and handsome was on the phone with him today. And, uh, you know, just the converse, say hello, because I didn't say anything to the person last night. I actually fell asleep, woke up 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I called today to say hello. What's done in the dark? Okay, so maybe something's happening with these illusions um could be about the story i'm about to tell you right now i don't know um divine is telling everybody's business so nothing is being under the radar and i'm just telling my own business because hey i'm still single celibate and no drinking no smoking no sexing just sitting here with god and so now having communication and conversations which i don't give a damn about telling y'all about okay because guess what I'm single and minding my own damn business. See, narcissistic vibes. You made me treat you this way. I'm the best thing that's ever going to happen to you. Boy, go away. Um, I can't believe you're mine. So, like I said, two energies coming in. Two energies, two vibes happening. Um, anyway, so we're having a conversation. And, you know, we just go into all the general things. No kids, no wife. Um... And I'm saying, you know, I have children. They're all grown um, in the middle of a divorce. Uh, single celibate and sitting here with God. Same thing I've been telling y'all. No drinking, no smoking, no none of that. Okay, all the qualifications are there. But he says, proceeds to tell me that, you know, me not having sex would be a problem to him. Well, I'm not changing my mind for anybody. I don't care what it is. Six of Wands, celebrations um being celebrated and then that five of wands back out here again more fights so he's saying because I'm, I'm not doing it i did it all the other ways with the having sex first and you know doing all the other things been married twice and uh, three times excuse me and guess what it got me nowhere i'm right here still so this time i'm gonna try it like they say no sex until marriage. Guess what? Um, and at this point, I'm not doing the uh, the state law marriage anyway. I'm doing the, you know, contract marriage basically anyway. So, 
yeah, if you can look at me and say you want to have sex, then you should look at me and know that you want to be marrying me. Because otherwise, it's a no for me. Um, so he was trying to convince me, like, you know, maybe you should change your mind. I'm not changing my mind for nobody. That's a that's not a deal breaker. That's definitely a deal breaker for me. It's non-negotiable. Go to God about it. Talk to God about it. Because... I'm not giving my sexual... Why would I want to give my sex energy? My sex energy is more important than that piece of paper. I mean, I'm sorry. It just is. And he's like, well, you know, we can think about marriage. Um, no, we. I'm going to think about marriage before I think about sex. That's just what it is. So as I'm having this conversation with him on the phone, there's a lady in the store and she's listening to me. She comes around and she's like clapping and everything because she's like, girl, you go. Yes, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that anymore. Like at this point, and I know people are going to be like, you know, well, what if the sex isn't good? Guess what? I don't think God's sending me that. So yeah, it's a no. I'm going like, and then I don't really even care because really can y'all even y'all talk so much about sex and people just send so much sex energy. And do y'all know what y'all doing anyway? Because I, I can tell y'all more stories even about sex it's not such a big deal to me and i understand that y'all are just so sexualized overly sexual uh, it's not that big a deal to me like if god grant me what i'm asking for him for right now guess what he can have my sex like god here i'll give up sex for what i'm asking for okay that's how much i'm trying to tell y'all i'm unbothered by it um because i don't have people that yes can give me an orgasm but at the end of the day somebody's juggling or trying to gain balance over a situation maybe this situation maybe could be their emotions so somebody giving me a little bit bipolar vibes is if this is one energy it's real you know crazy and erratic so juggling maybe trying to get their emotions under control but um yes but never getting all the things that i want at the same time sexually attracted to someone um and great sex uh where they're not just selfish in the situation um somebody make me feel like i'm being raped um yeah so i could care less not yeah it's not a thing for me so at this point i'm willing to negotiate even that part with god okay and i haven't <laughs> i haven't but at the end of the day the toys and porn actually I, I i'm not against it so judge me talk to god about it i don't care i can do it faster yeah so yeah uh, uh, i don't really care so if anybody's trying to come and then on top of that to me it just seems like people when they find out you're not doing something they just want to touch it anyway so get on my face creates and like i said even to him we can be friends because you know i love the energy love the vibe and we're so much the same like even down to the right down to the statement that he said to me um relationships aren't hard people make them hard i say that i literally say that to people and yeah but it's a no for me if um, me not having sex until i'm married is like you know going to be a problem i don't want to create any problems in anybody's life my journey's my journey and this is just what it is that's where i'm at with it if you liked it then you should have put a ring on it and i want to go with you to the jewelry store okay because niggas out here buying baguettes and you know shit and flossing online but baguettes are cheap yeah i need that solid stone what's wrong with y'all y'all little um people be getting excited about the wrong damn things um create space for new love okay so i was right there is a new love here when a thing hurts your eyes stop looking at it when it hurts your ears stop listening to it when it hurts your heart just stop justifying it okay i love you so much the universe
Okay, guys, so this is your reading. If it resonates with you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, sorry for the interruption. I was not going to be rude because I'm not rude. And yeah, go with God. <laughs>